The first Bundesliga club to step out for the Florida Cup were Bayer Leverkusen, the opposition eight-time winners of the Colombian Championship Independiente Santa Fe. Leverkusen were complete with their star of the moment, Javier Hernandez, Chicharito. The strong Leverkusen side were the team playing the more fluid football and were pressurising the side from Santa Fe in just the right areas. The result was almost the opener on the quarter-hour mark. Vladan Yuchenko, who only played two league games before the winter break, went close to really impressing his coach, Holger Schmidt. Hakan Chananulu, Leverkusen's set-piece specialist, had been practising his free kicks at the training camp. He got a chance to put it to the test in a match situation, but on this occasion, even he got stage fright. The only thing missing from Bayer was a goal in the first half. Julian Brandt did his best to set up Admir Mamedi. But even he demonstrated, like the rest of his side, that he wasn't quite up to full speed in the opening 45 minutes. And nil-nil was the way the first half finished. Plenty of time left to make an impact in the Florida Cup. Leverkusen made eight changes for the second half and the substitutes were doing their part to try and break the deadlock. One from the first half and a new entrant combined for the first real chance of the second 45 minutes. Youngster Benjamin Henriks and Karen Bellarabi. The latter should have done better but denied by keeper Andres Leandro Castanaños. Stefan Kiesling could do no better. In fact, the new Leverkusen outfit were creating more chances than their predecessors. On the hour, Bellarabi resumed his personal battle with Santa Fe keeper Castanaños. The result was very much the same. Leverkusen have been saying that they want to improve in the second half of the season, and that means scoring more goals. Bellarabi could well be a key part of that, but he demonstrated that he's not quite in the groove for 2016. But credit once more to Castanaños for his reactions. At least he was getting a workout from the Bayer men. Independiente finished the match down to 10 men, 83 minutes and Sebastian Salazar dismissed for a second bookable offence. That was enough for Leverkusen to finally make the breakthrough their play deserved. The build-up from Brandt and Bellarabi was precise, which meant it was all too easy for Kiesling to grab what must surely have been a late winner for Leverkusen. 87 minutes and who else but the evergreen by a striker. And so it was Leverkusen who started their Florida Cup campaign with a win and a hard-fought 1-0 victory over Independiente Santa Fe.